Hey guys, it's DJ. Um, for those of you that don't know me, um, I'm a sophomore here at Liberty University, and uh, I'm studying youth ministry. Uh, my dream is to become a youth pastor one day. So yeah, that's really exciting. Um, I just kind of wanted to start this um, weekly video type of thing to discuss things that are going on in my life and things that I've been thinking about, things that I've learned, and um, just different topics and maybe be an encouragement to you guys. Um, maybe you just want to watch to be entertained. That's awesome. You know, whatever. Um, but um, today I kind of wanted to just share my story of, uh, you know, where I was and how I got to where I am today. And um, so, yeah, um, I guess the easiest place to start would be childhood. Um, when I was a kid, um, I was really, really involved at church. Um, I went to VBS every summer. I went to Awana's every Sunday. I had children's choir I was really involved in, and I was at church every Sunday when the doors were open. You know, I was just really involved. And um, when I turned to nine, um, I accepted Christ as my Savior, and I got baptized. And um, shortly after that, um, we moved houses and, for different reasons, left um, the church that we were attending at that time. And, um, you know, for about three years, uh, I just wasn't really involved at church that much. Um, my friends would take me to their churches with them and different things, but I didn't really have a church of my own. I didn't have a place that I could grow and, um, and know and learn more about Christ. And, um, you know, I look back at when I was nine, and I had a base knowledge of what Christianity was about, um, but I really didn't understand what it what it meant to live for Christ. Um, so, during that time that like I wasn't involved in church, um, I got involved with um, certain things that I shouldn't have been doing. Um, I just was with the wrong crowd. I was cussing a whole lot, and um, you know, really angry and bitter towards people because. Um, you know, during middle school, high school, I got picked on a whole lot, and, um, you know, it just, it hurt me a whole lot, and, um, I didn't really know what my identity was in Christ, um, at that time, and for some reason, and I know it's God now, but at the time, I, I had no idea, and, um, I just knew that I needed to be involved in church, um, so when we were at our new house, I realized that there was a church right up the street, and I was like, Mom, is there any way I could go up there? A bunch of my friends go there. Um, you know, it'd be kind of fun, blah, blah, blah. And um, she was like, sure. So she took me up there, um, you know, a couple Sundays. Um, and then I got really involved and, um, you know, just started doing things with my friends there and growing to know Christ as Christ really um, was, you know. Um, my view of Christ was very shallow um, for my kid kids perspective and you know being involved with the youth and um, just growing to know Christ and um, just um, you know learning what being a Christian was really about um, about the love of God and what um, he did to save us all um, it was just awesome you know and it was it was one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life um, to get um, involved in youth group um, you know there it was um, when I realized that um, I didn't do the things that um, Jesus was telling me to do. Like, I realized my, my life didn't match what Christ was calling us to be, um, what a Christian's life should really look like. And um, when I went to a Dare to Share conference um, when I was a junior with our youth group. And it was there that I really got convicted, and I was like, you know, my life doesn't match what Jesus is trying to tell me to be. And um, at that conference, I rededicated my life to Christ. And um, it was there and shortly after that I realized that God had a really big plan for my life and that um, he wanted me to be a youth pastor. And um, just different ways of working in my life, um, you know, um, I just kept dedicating more parts of my life to God. And then I realized shortly, um, recently, that, you know, it's not about dedicating parts of your life, it's dedicating your whole life um, to Jesus and what His plan is for your life. Um, I'm not here to tell you that I'm perfect. I'm not here to tell you that um, I've got it all together, because those are both lies, if I was to tell you that. Um,
I've got struggles just like anybody else has struggles. And I'm still trying to work out some of those things that um, I know that don't match what a Christian should look like. Um, but I'm not perfect, but Christ was. And he came and he died on the cross for me and you um, to save us from all those bad things, all those hurts, all those struggles, um, all those addictions and terrible things that um, we go through as humans living life. Um, but, you know, growing and knowing more about Christ was a big part of my life um, in the youth group. And, um, you know, I learned that, you know, we as humans are very sinful. And it took God giving His only Son on the cross to cover up all of that sin and take it all away. Um, it was It's just awesome to think about um, a God that is so loving that He gave His Son to die for you. Um, you know, like picture your best friend, or if you're a parent, picture your son or daughter, and having to give them up for, for somebody that you really don't even know that well. Um, it's kind of like that, because um, without the removal of sin, we have no relationship with God. And um, it's just awesome to know that um, I have a Savior that is perfect and that can help me through things and that loves me for who I am. Um, you know, don't ever let the devil tell you that you're not good enough to be a Christian or that you can't be fixed because the truth is none of us are good enough to um, receive the, Christ, uh, the, G, the gift of Jesus Christ. Um, it's, it's completely and totally a gift from God. Um, you know, we don't deserve it at all. But God chose to give us Christ so that we could be freed from our sins and have eternal life with Him. And that's something that we should definitely be out proclaiming. Um, I always look at it like this. You know, if we had the cure for cancer, then we would be out telling people about it. Well, we as Christians have the gift of life. We know what life is truly about. Um, it's not about sex and drugs and alcohol and parties and things that are happy happiness for a season and then they bring you nothing but um, you know guilt and shame um, life is truly about loving others like God loved us enough to give us his son to die for our sins um, so yeah um, God has really been working in my life lately um, I like I said I'm a sophomore here at Liberty University Liberty has just been awesome to me um, I have heard some of the greatest um, speakers in the world um, here at Liberty, and they've really challenged me in my faith and um, to do better and to, to grow closer because the most important thing you could ever do in your life is invest your life um, in God's will. Um, just trade your will, whatever you think your life should be about, for God's will and what He um, knows your life should be about. Um, and if you guys don't know Christ as your Savior, um, if you guys aren't Christians, um, I challenge you to just um, look into it. Look into being a Christian. Look into what it's really about. Um, don't let people um, that do bad things and call themselves Christians give you a bad um, image of what God is really about. Because we as Christians, including myself, um, don't always live up to what God expects us to live up to. And... Um, you know, God knows that we're sinful people, and um, don't look at it um, and then think, well, God can't be real because they act just like me, um, because God is real, and don't let them give you a distorted view of what God really is, um, you know, um, the truth of what God really is, is in the Bible, and that's where the Bible comes in, um, that's why it's important to read your Bible, because that's how you grow to know who God really, truly is. Um, and just stay away from the things of the devil, because they will do nothing but tear you apart. And I'm here to be a witness of that. Um, I submitted a lot of my life to the devil growing up, and I wish I could take it back. Um, so yeah, just know that God loves you, and that um, he sent his only son to die for you so that you could be freed from all this crap of, of life, you know. Um, if you have any questions, 
um, or comments, feel free to send me a message on Facebook or YouTube. Um, I just um, pray you continue to um, stay tuned in and watch these videos and um, maybe they'll be an encouragement to you. Maybe you're dealing with some of the topics that I'm going to talk about in the next couple weeks. And um, just just know that God loves you. Um, and it's, it's the most important decision you could ever make um, to dedicate your whole life to Christ. Um, it took me a while to learn that, but I know. I know now that devoting your life to Christ is the best thing you could ever do. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.